Thank you, Lord. Father, we praise you. We bless your name. We give you glory. We give you honor. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for all you've done this month. Thank you for all you've done this week. Thank you for all you've done this year. Thank you for all you will do today. Father, to you be all the glory, to you be all the honor. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and God's people said, Amen, Amen, Amen. You're welcome, Charles. You're welcome, Princess Ruth, Adrian Esty. This is Command Your Day. My name is Pastor Chuzi, Glory House World Church, Atlanta, Georgia. And I'm delighted to welcome you today to this broadcast. Please share as you come on in. You will not be wasted. And I'll wait for a moment for you to share and for others to come in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. What a month we have had. Midday 76, you are so welcome. You will not be wasted. You will not be wasted. Scarlet Leaks, you will not be wasted. Welcome, all of us. We and our families will not be wasted, okay? And we give God glory. Pastor Joseph, you are so welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. She's zone 39. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We will not be wasted. Glory be to God. Psalm 91, verse 5 to 6. Psalm 91, verse 6, 5 to 6. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flyeth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. The destruction that wastes people at noonday. And you are so welcome. The destruction that wastes at noonday will not come near our portion, will come near us or our dwelling place in the name of Jesus. Uh, Pastor Daisy, welcome. Vel Victor, welcome. Nelly, you're so welcome. Dr. Laura, welcome. Charles, you're welcome again. You will not be wasted. It's a prophetic word, it's a prayer, it's a declaration, it's a confirmation. Deborah, it is a powerful word that God gave me on today's broadcast. Don't forget, it's our communion service as well. Jennifer, all of you, get your bread ready, get your juice, your Coca-Cola, whatever you use. There is no distance in prayer. And thank you, Lord, for your presence in the name of Jesus. Mika, you are welcome. We will not be wasted. Deboali, you're welcome. And so share as you come on and don't forget every person who joins shares at least 10 times share on twitter on instagram on facebook on whatsapp and so on and so forth thank you so much let's get into it isaiah 49 verse 17. Whew, thank you lord isaiah 49 verse 17 thy children shall make haste thy destroyers and they that made thee waste shall go forth of thee those who made thee waste Isaiah 49 and 17 thank you shall go forth so right now in the name of Jesus we command every destroyer wasting anyone any destruction any destroyer wasting anyone Gigi, we command them to lose their hold and go get out in the name of jesus psalm 91 verse 5 psalm 91 verse 6 destructions can waste people i want you to write it down destructions can waste people 
Isaiah 49 and 17. Isaiah 49 and 17. Destroyers can waste people. Destruction and destroyers. Thank you, Lord. Can waste people. And we're coming to, uh, to unpack this. This is just to give you a foundation. Uh, Joel chapter 2. Verse 25, Joel chapter 2, verse 25 and 26. You know that very wonderful word there. And I will restore to you the years that the locusts had eaten. Many enterprises welcome. The years, my God, that the locusts had eaten. The canker worm, the caterpillar, the palmer worm. My great army, which I send among you, I will restore to you the years that the cat canker worm, the caterpillar, the palmer worm, God's great army. Yes, Soma de Fereniski. These are wasters. Wasters. And God is saying, no, I will reverse it. I will restore, this is a word for somebody, I will restore to you the years, months, days, weeks, hours that were wasted, Sylvia, welcome, in life, wasted in the wrong place, Wasted in the wrong, with the wrong person. Wasted doing the wrong things. Wasted pursuing the wrong goals. Daisy Boyd, you're welcome. Wasted with building a relationship or business or career that is not going to lead anywhere. You and I, if we have ever had anything wasted, God's word to you today is that you and I and all of our loved ones shall be restored. You made a mistake. You wound up in the wrong place. Let it go. Let it go so that your restoration can begin. In the name of Jesus. Now let's get deeper. What are things, what can be wasted? We talked about uh, years. We talked about what destroyers can do. Now let's get deeper. Number one, life can be wasted. Life can be wasted. Somebody is writing on Facebook and saying that this word is for them. Thank you, Father. That's my prayer, that somebody will receive, will encounter God, will hear from heaven on these broadcasts. Hither, you are so welcome. And that is awesome. Some call it Heather, some say Hither. Just know that we appreciate you coming on board. Life can be wasted. Psalm 137 Verse 3, Psalm 137, verse 3. For they are they that carried us away captive, required of us a song. And they that wasted us, required of us mirth, saying, Sing us one of the songs of Zion. They that wasted us. So write this down. People can waste people. Waste, waste them. And like I said earlier, you're just in the wrong place and you just get wasted. Number two, money can be wasted. Money can be wasted. Just buying the wrong things. You remember the prodigal son who took his own inheritance and just wasted it on riotous leaving. I believe it's in Luke chapter 15 now or 16. Let me be sure. Wasted, 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 wasted. 
took all the money, just wasted it. Wasted it. Yes. Luke 15. Jenny Joe, you're welcome. Luke 15, verse 11. This is a word for somebody. You're thinking that your time has been wasted, your money has been wasted. I don't know what you're dealing with. Something about you beating up yourself and feeling bad. Joy, you're welcome. And now God is saying, uh-uh, you will not be wasted. In Luke 15, verse 11, the prodigal son left. And the Bible says he wasted. Uh-huh. Yes. In verse 13, Luke 15 and 13, he wasted his money. Luke 15 and 13. There's a spirit. I'm coming to that in a moment because some of you are wondering what you did with the stimulus money. <laughs> A stimulus check. Royal crown, you're welcome. He wasted, verse 13, <clears throat> excuse me, and not many days after the younger son gathered all together and took his journey into a far country and there wasted his substance with riotous living. So it's possible to be wasted financially. Money, stuff. Number three, time can be wasted. You and I can end up pursuing the wrong things, doing the wrong things, only to find out that you wasted your time marrying the wrong person, dating the wrong person, investing in the wrong place, Pursuing the wrong business. It's not just money. Time can be wasted. In fact, time, if you lose money, you can make it again. If you lose time, you cannot regain it, except God helps you. I pray for everyone watching who is feeling that they wasted their time doing something wrong, getting in the, just putting just investing their time, Chris, you're welcome, into the wrong place that God will restore you. Say amen to that in the name of Jesus. Time can be wasted. Psalm 78, verse 33. Psalm 78, verse 33. So their days were wasted. Their days were wasted. Have you heard somebody say, don't waste my time? Oh, yeah. It's possible to have time wasted. Wasted. Wake up in the morning. There's a spirit of wasting that is out there in the world today. There's a spirit of wasted time, wasted opportunities, wasted resources, wasted money. I know of a woman, uh, a woman I met, she said she had lived in 18 states, one eight states in America, going from place to, I, I said to her, what are you looking for? So right now, in the name of Jesus, somebody lift your faith now. We decree and declare, and we agree, all of us watching now, that anything that has been wasted in your life shall be recovered sevenfold money, joy, resources, health, beauty, strength, uh, vivacity, money, time, opportunity. Come on, somebody. They shall be recovered, restored in the name of Jesus. Thank you for those amens and those hearts. Glory be to God. It's important. I, God gave me this word. I don't know why I never preached it before, but I believe it's for someone. As we exit this month and we begin to get ready for the new month, you may look back and say, oh, what have I done with my time? What did I do with my beauty? What did I do with my youth? What did I do with my strength? And you look yourself in the mirror. Oh, my God, look at me. What have I done? What did I do? What did I achieve? 
you will be surprised at how God will restore you. And I prophesied in the name of Jesus, may God restore you, give you speed to pursue, to overtake, to recover all, to come out on top. May God compensate you. I know you trusted that person and you gave it your best and your years and time and seasons and months and money and resources and they ripped you off. You ended up with nothing. God Almighty that I serve will restore you, not just onefold, sevenfold in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Say amen to that. Jay Moore, you're welcome. Share as you come on in. Don't forget, we share. Everybody gets to share at least 10 times. Pastor Tuesday, what? Yes, ma'am. And as we share, more notifications go out and people get to know. Thank you for sharing. I saw your uh, people shared on Twitter and so on and so forth. God bless every sharer in the name of Jesus. Opportunities can be wasted. Opportunities can be wasted. And people just go there. Remember what Mordecai told Esther? Mordecai said Esther, to Esther, you are on the throne for such a time as this. Don't waste your opportunity. You were made queen to save the Jews. Don't think you just happened to be so beautiful and they made you a queen to just sit pretty. No, you have an assignment. You have an opportunity. And I pray that you will not blow that opportunity in the name. One of the worst things that can happen to anybody is to be old and tired and worn out and exhausted and full of regrets and remorse when it's too late. I heard somebody say that those who are older have less time and more wisdom. And nobody's old until they get to 120, okay? 100 and above is old in my dictionary. So those who are older or old, they sit and look back at their lives. They have more wisdom, but not enough time or strength to get the job done. Those who are young, Pastor Tony, you're welcome. Those who are young have more time, but less wisdom. So there has to be a blend, a, a mixing of time and wisdom at the right time. What is the perfect scenario? The perfect, perfect scenario is to know and discern your time and season. I don't know why I'm getting to this, but let's go on. Ah, so Baladia. Food can be wasted. Ryan, you're welcome. Food can be wasted. Food. In 1 Kings 17, verse 14, 1 Kings 17, For thus said the Lord God of Israel, the barrel of meal shall not waste. Neither shall the cruise of oil fail. And this is a word for somebody. The Lord is saying your, your, your supply will not dry up. I know what you've gone through with the pandemic and job and money and being a single parent or what have you, or married or divorced or student or starting out a new business. God is saying he will remain your supplier your supply will not dry up. It will not run out. Remember when they ran out of wine in John chapter 2? God is saying, uh-uh, you will not run out of wine. You will not run out of supply. In other words, you've been, wor you've been worried about what will people say? Oh, God, don't let people know my secret. God is sending me to tell you that you people will not know your secret. God said so healing for life. He will take care of you. He will supply. You will not 
be ashamed. This is a strong word. You will not be disgraced. Your supply will remain consistent. Even when you run out of wine, God will supply and turn your water, your tears into wine. The water, the word of God, he will turn it into wine. So fire and all those watching. Hallelujah. I am Bayo Babajide. Welcome, Bayo Pastor. You're welcome, sir. God is saying your supply will not run out. He will turn your water, the ordinary thing, things that don't make sense. He will turn it to wine. The water is the word. The, the parts of water, structures. You've got to have what to contain what is coming. And this is a word for somebody. You've been asking God for increase. For abundance, God give me money, God give me a husband, God give me a wife, God give me houses, God give me cars, God give me church members. But I have a question for you. Do you have the pots? If God gives you water and turns it to wine now, where are you going to put it? Where will you pour it? Where? What structure do you have? What system do you have in place to carry that husband, wife, family, children, business, money, church members, cars, money in the hundreds of millions? Are you really ready? Can you handle it? The pressure and all that goes with it? If God gave you a thousand members in your church now, where are you going to put them? Where will they sit? Who will usher them? Who will pray for them? Who will administer them? Who will count their offering? Who will do welfare? Who will follow up? Who will look for them? Who will sing? Who will usher? Who will play instruments? Who will serve? Who will intercede? Who will, who will handle children's church from a thousand families? Hello? If God gave you $5 million now, what structure do you have in place to handle it? Well, I'll just buy cars and buy houses. He's not going to do that. So I'm praying that God will give you structure, give us, including me, wisdom, knowledge, insight, understanding to prepare for what is coming. And I pray that you will not miss it, and I will not miss it in the name of Jesus. Say amen to that. Hallelujah. Youth and beauty can be wasted. Youth and beauty can be wasted for like a welcome. Youth and beauty, beauty can be wasted. Of course, Psalm 78 verse 33. Psalm 78 verse 33. So their days were wasted like a breath and their years in trouble. Trouble wastes people's beauty. Remember, so many examples. Is it Mark chapter 5? The young man who was God created to be an evangelist, they struck him with madness. He was in the, in the tombs, cutting himself with stones, chained, chained, and God set him free. Youth and beauty. If you want to see where, if youth has been wasted, go to any downtown. Look at drug addicts. I was in Las Vegas one year when they took me downtown Las Vegas. Oh, my God. People who came for business or vacation to visit Las Vegas, they wound up gambling and losing everything. And they're sleeping out there in the streets. Young men, strong women. When we used to go to Belgium, you see young women, prostitutes, professionally, wasting their beauty. I mean, some of the most beautiful people I've seen, men and women, black people from Africa, prostitutes. In Malaysia, I've seen them. In Belgium, I've seen them. Thank God. 
for the privilege of traveling a little bit and seeing the world. My God, you see people in South Africa, Johannesburg, and different places wasted by alcohol and drinking. And oh God, may God restore our beauty. May God restore our strength in the name of Jesus. I know why God gave me this word, but I am preaching it and teaching it and I'm loving it. I have a promise for you in Isaiah 60, verse 18. We've been on Isaiah 60. Remember, we're looking at Isaiah 60, verse 1 and verse 20 last time. Now we're looking at Isaiah chapter 60, verse 18, Isaiah 60, verse 18, violence shall no more be heard in thy land. Wasting. Here we go again. Joy, you're welcome. See, somebody is writing. He said, this word is for me for sure. Violence shall no more be heard in thy land or thy house or thy life. Wasting no destruction within thy borders. But thou shalt call thy walls salvation and thy gates praise. Wasting no destruction shall no more be heard of in your life. Wasting violence. Oh, haven't you seen people victims of violence? Shot killed, wasted. No wonder he said he will give his angels charge over us. Thank you, Lord. Wasted by violence. Wife beaters, wife killers, husband beaters, husband killers. Yes, sir. Wasted. I decree in the name of Jesus, no more wasting of any life by violence or any other demonic satanic force in the name of Jesus. Inheritance can be wasted. We talked about the younger boy of the brothers, the prodigal, wasted. A church can be wasted. A business can be wasted. I heard somebody talking about opening up businesses in certain parts of Africa, he said, if you open up a business, they will steal you. He was talking about opening up restaurants. Mm -hmm. Somebody's writing on Facebook. Thank you, Lord. I was battling that thought this morning. See, that is my prayer and my wife's prayer. All of us who pray for command your day, that the word will go forth. You may be just weeping. God saved you and then allow your life to be wasted. And I decree that no life, your life, my life, your family, my family, your ministry, my ministry, your loved ones, my loved ones shall not be wasted. Others will go for our sake in the name of Jesus. A church, Galatians 1.13, a church. Galatians 1.13, for you have heard of my conversation in time past in the Jewish religion, how that beyond measure I persecuted the church of God and wasted it. Thank you for those hearts. You, a church can be wasted by the wrong people. Wasted. You pastor people. You think you're pastoring people. And they just waste your time and waste their time. Just wake, wake up one day and walk away. People you've pastored for 10 years, 15 years, 20 years. Some of the pastors, 30 years, 40. Just walk away. That's a waste of resources. I pray for wisdom in discerning the wrong people. Just You thought somebody was your friend and you trusted them. They wasted your money, your time. You just wasted it. The devil is a liar. We rebuke that and we reject that in the name of Jesus. Can I prophesy over you? May God send you comforters, sponsors, nourishers. Send to us, Father, 
people to nourish us, to comfort us, to, 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 to just pour into us. I don't know who you are. You're always pouring into people, always giving to people. I pray that God will send people to pour into you, to nourish you, to help you, Sando Hebre Venisti, so that your strength and faith will remain strong in the name of Jesus. A life can be emptied out, just emptied out. The book of Nahum, N-A-H-U-M, Nahum chapter 2, verse 2, Nahum chapter 2, verse 2, two. for the Lord had turned away the excellency of Jacob as the excellency of Israel, for the emptiers have emptied them out and marred their vine branches. Emptiers emptied them out. These are demonic, satanic entities that can invade a business, invade a church, invade a life, and wreak havoc. I decree in the name of the one who called me that from now on you will not be emptied out. You will be poured into. I went to Malaysia one time. And after the ministration, we went to the mall, just walking around. And we entered the store. I really liked some of the shirts there. I was poured into. My son, my daughter there, we began to buy shirts. <laughs> just by long story short, I came home. I think we had to ship it by UPS. I, 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 I walk, we walked out of that store. I had more than 40 shirts paid for, poured back into me. If somebody buys you 40 shirts, that's a lot of being poured into. I remember went to central London and uh, a friend, oh, God bless his memory. He's gone to be with the Lord. He picked me up from the airport. I went to London to preach that year. He said to me, Pastor Chizzy, would you like some shirts? I mean, he said, what do you need? I said, uh, I, I don't need, uh, you know, because you're careful. You don't know, you know, <laughs> you're a guest. You got to be careful. And um, he said, oh, yeah, yeah let's, uh, what do you need? I said, I, I don't need anything. You know, I'm like, I don't trust you. He said, no, do you need shirts? Oh, yeah, yeah, you know, preachers like shirts, you know. Do you need ties? Oh, yeah, yeah, you know, we like ties, you know. But don't worry, I, I, I came ready, you know. He said, that's fine. Thank you, Lord. Somebody's writing on Facebook, God bless you, Apostle Chusey, for pouring into me. It's evident that my strength is returning. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Well, Juliana is watching today. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much. In the evening, we went to the church. And this gentleman had gone shopping. He brought a bag. <laughs> I never seen a bag of brand new shirts and ties. A bag, a bag. My bro oh, my. he spent hundreds and hundreds of pounds sterling pouring into me. Boy, was I edified, and I give God glory. I prophesied to somebody that in the next 90 days, 90, watch it, from the first of this coming month and for the next three months, God is about to send somebody. You don't need a lot of people to like you. You just need the right person to pour into you, to minister to you, to, to drench you. That's the word I'm hearing, drench you with love, not just money, with money, with cash, with blessings, with encouragement, with strength, with affirmation, with kindness, with love, with goodness, that when your strength is weak, 
you will draw. I mean, talking good people, not fake people, not people who will help you and just go tell the whole world. No, I have I have been poured into people. Just is there anything you need? Uh, don't ask me. What do you need? Ah, no, no, don't worry about it. Oh, La Machando Berenia. I remember the Holy Ghost is reminding me I went to preach in a certain country and I ran out of money. And I was checking out that day. And I said, Lord, what do we do? The Lord said, go downstairs. This was years ago. And he said, go downstairs and stand by the checkout counter. Yeah, the right person to drench you. That word drench, take note of it. Drench, soak you till you can't take it anymore. Goodness, kindness, right words, good words, encourage you, tell you you're not crazy, you're not losing your mind. When people give you prophecies that give you restless sleep and bother you, that, that's not from God. Don't take it, trash it. I don't care how anointed that person is. When they give you these words or say certain things that don't go well with your spirit, no, you need the right people to bless you. I, I trash it. I don't care how big the man or woman of God is. You, you, you're, trying, you're trying to sleep and this thing is going around in your spirit all night, all day, won't let you have peace of mind. Trash it. That's not from God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Remember, I was so I went downstairs and stood by the counter, just watching people, checking in, checking out. Hallelujah. And there came a young man, one of, one of my sons. He said, Daddy, what are you doing here? I said, uh, <laughs> uh, how are you? He said, fine. Where are you off to? He said, I've been in this hotel. I'm just uh, leaving. I'm checking out. I'm going on with my business. What are you doing here? I said, well, God asked me to come wait here. And so I'm standing. I, I didn't know if it was you I was waiting for or who I was waiting for. He said, what do you need? I said, well, I'm here. I, I can't tell you what I need. He said, oh, excuse me, I forgot. I need to give you some money. I said, praise the Lord, bro. You're hearing from God, all right? <laughs> and he went to the ATM and brought out some cash quite uh, more than enough to pay for the hotel bill. And he put it in my hands. He said, uh, I've got to run. I'll call you later. I said, you can run as long as you want, bro. May God send you people to rescue you. Rescuers. Nourishers. Are you receiving it? People on Instagram? People on Facebook? YouTube? Are you receiving? On Twitter? On WhatsApp? People that will nourish you, pour into you. People who will comfort you. Listen, you don't know how, how exhausted you are until somebody comes and begins to pour water into you. And that water turns to wine. May God send you such people who will pour water that will turn to wine in your life. Are you there? Are you listening? Amen. In the name of Jesus, where you don't need to worry about money or help or anointing. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. May that be your story. You, you, you always give in to people. I don't know who this person is that I'm talking about. You always give. Now get ready. In the next 90 days, three months, people will go. You'll be surprised. Just let me know when it starts. People will pour into you. Just bless you. Drench you. Love you. It may be words you need, not just money or material things. Anointing. Hallelujah. Say amen to that. I've been to places where they said to me, Pastor Jesus, just, just come here. <laughs> and they put, put their hand on me and just begin to bless me. As a pastor, I ran into somewhere 
Oh my God, the pastor, he, I had never felt such love. He put me on his knees, adult as I am, a couple of years ago, put me, on, put me on his knees and put his hand on my head and held me like a baby and began to just bless me, my God, and speak stuff and prophesy. And I was in tears. He was in tears and just speak stuff. It was to me more than money. I wish I could lay hands on you and speak those things. And I declare in the name of Jesus that your strength will not fail. Thank you, Lord. 90 days of saturation. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody's writing, Pastor, I remember you pouring into me. It was a sports coat that always draws compliments when I wear it, I had even forgotten I gave him anything. Thank you, Lord. He said, you truly preach what you, truly practice what you preach. Thank you, Father. To you be all the glory. Thank you, Pastor Tony. I don't remember. Hallelujah. Be a pourer, not just a receiver. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. You may not sow money, you may, but you can sow a nice text into somebody. 90 days of saturation. I like that so far. 90 days of saturation. How many are interested? Let it be so for you. In the, just being poured into by God. I've had God pour into me. <laughs> just pour into you. Hallelujah. You wake up in tears and so strong, refreshed. Hallelujah. Ah, so many things come into my mind. Thank you, Lord. Your soul needs to be healed. Your soul has been, oh, Samaradis. I saw this verse and I was praying it. Ah. Ah, Santo Meredis. Look at this. Psalm 86, verse 11. Psalm 86, verse 11. Teach me thy way, O Lord. I will walk in thy truth. Unite my heart to fear thy name. Unite my heart. You never saw it. I never saw it too. To love late. Psalm 86 verse 11. Get, write it down. Go check it out. I never knew. Because I, I used to wonder, but I didn't have the verse, Psalm 86 verse 11, because there are times your heart is in just fractured. Your heart is scattered. Your mind is scattered. Your mind, soul, spirit, soul, body, spirit, not united. Your mind is elsewhere. Your body is elsewhere. Your heart is elsewhere. Your spirit is elsewhere. You're just fractured, stretched in different directions. And I kept saying there must be a word that can fix this. And finally, I found it. Psalm 86, verse 11. Unite my heart to fear thy name. Unite my heart. Unite my heart. Unite my heart. Gather my heart. Focus my heart. Reconcile my heart. Re re reprogram my heart. Gather the broken pieces. Unite them. Make me whole again in my heart so I can Fear thy name. Hallelujah. And right now, Father, I pray for somebody watching. May your heart be healed. May your heart be united. May your heart be harmonized. May your heart be regathered together. May your heart, tamo vene, so God can teach you. May your heart be be, be be gathered. May your heart come together. I'm looking for the right word. Just say amen in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 
you will not be wasted. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We go to sickness. Sickness and disease can waste people. Thank you, Father. Sickness and disease can waste people. Oh, my God. Oh, yes. Unite my heart. I wish I could dwell on that some more. Unite my heart. My heart is... Have you ever tried to pray and your mind can focus? If you have ever experienced a fractured heart, broken focus, broken concentration, can't pray, can't function, trying to pray, your mind is in several directions. Type 1. Let me see if I have any with Just type 1 on the screen. Let me see if I'm talking to somebody, if I'm making... Have you ever tried to focus and your mind is just not right there? Now, that's the verse that can bring healing. Unite my heart. Such words are so powerful. I see you, I see you, uh-huh. You're trying to, just your mind is in so many directions. Do you know that God is a heart uniter? <laughs> you know, we don't say, well, God will heal my broken heart. He can heal it, but he'll first unite it. I said he will first unite it. He will first unite it. All of you responding, typing one on the screen. May God unite your heart. May God heal your heart. May God heal your soul. May God heal your mind. May God give you clarity. May God regather your broken focus because broken focus is a is a, a destiny broken is a destiny fracture i asked a, a lady i went to from for a massage somewhere and the lady was saying to me i said how can uh, she was touching some spots and i said how can somebody's body contain so much pain and the person didn't know doesn't know i said ma'am you're touching places I didn't feel any pain before. How come I'm feeling pain now? You're touching them. And he said, Star, what do you do for a living? <laughs> no, it was a gentleman in uh, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. I said, I'm a pastor. I'm a preacher. I've traveled for more than 24 hours to get here. I went from U.S. to Dubai, 14 hours flying nonstop. And then two hours of layover in Dubai. And then seven hours of flying to get to Kuala Lumpur. 21 hours plus 22 layover. Oh my God, it was something else. And he said to me, well, I, I can see why. Your system is stressed up. It's just, you're just stressed up. I say, you sure? No, I am stressed up, sir. And he began to just apply some pressure on this and that. By the time I got off that table, boy, I felt new. I felt strong. Boy, I felt good. I felt light. I felt life. He sure poured into me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This is just a massage. You don't know how much pain your heart is carrying. Do you know that in heart transplant, you can Google it, when they, trans they take the heart of somebody and put in another person, the heart still thinks it's in the body of the first owner and he still has all the pains and hurts and trauma of the first owner working in the body of the second owner. What am I saying? The body can document pain and hurt and trauma and stress and distress. That's why we need God to unite our hearts, to unite our minds. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 
to unite our spirits, to be in harmony, spirit, soul, body, to be together. When spirit, soul, body are together, prayer is easy, teaching is easy, anointing flows, prosperity flows. When a husband and wife are in harmony, oh my God, they are unstoppable. When parents and children are in harmony, when pastor and congregation are in harmony, they are unstoppable. When there's unity, then the anointing falls. When there's unity, then certain realms of blessings flow. My biggest blessing is when there's a unity between you, between me and the Holy Spirit and Jesus and God. Life tries to drain us. See, I've gone off in a different, I hope I'm helping somebody. This, all of this is not in my notes here. <laughs> I felt that somebody needed to hear this. Unity between you and God. Unity between you and the people who love you, you love. Unity with yourself, that you stop beating yourself up and cutting yourself off and just, just running yourself into the ground, that you would rise up in confidence and begin to say, thank you, Lord. A living dog is better than a dead lion. There is hope for a tree. Father, unite our hearts with your heart. In the name of Jesus. Do you know that sorrow can waste the soul? One of the things that can drain and fracture focus is sorrow. Psalms 119 verse 28. Psalms 119 verse 28. My soul is wasted with sorrow. Give me strength again in keeping with your word. My soul is wasted with sorrow. I prophesy over all of us watching, listening today. In the name of Jesus, we will not be wasted. In the name of Jesus, we will not be wasted. Say amen to that. We will no more be wasted. We will no more be wasted. We will no more be wasted. Job 33, verse 21. Job 33, verse 21. His flesh is consumed away that it cannot be seen. And his bones that were not seen stick out. Sickness can waste somebody's life. Sickness, waste. Waste people. No sickness shall come near you. No tragedy shall come near your dwelling. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. I pray that something came your way today. I don't know how small, how big it is. I pray that this time you wish you invested in God's word with me will bring forth a whole new dimension, open new portals, new places, take you places in God. And um, get your bread. Whew, what a word. Get your bread. We're going to have communion in a moment. If you're not born again, I had a dream today where I was praying for the salvation of somebody. I don't remember where, but I remember that dream. And so right now, Father, I pray for your people who are not born again, who are watching, who will watch later, or anyone who is backslidden. Father, restore us, heal us, unite us afresh with you. Psalm 86 and verse what again? Psalm 86 and verse, where is it? Unite. I want to really not forget that, that psalm. I really like it. Unite my heart. Psalm 86, I believe, verse 11. Unite 
my heart. I pray if you're not born again, say after me, Lord Jesus, forgive my sins. I receive you as my Lord and Savior, and I thank you for the grace to live for you. Father, I pray for them that you know as we do cast them away, heal them, deliver them, set them free. Fill them with your spirit. Give them the grace, all of us, to live for you till the end. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and God's people said, Amen. Get your bread ready. We're going to do two more things, and I will be out of your way. I try to keep it under one hour. First Corinthians chapter 11, of course, my favorite verse for communion. Verse 23, for I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. When he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take it, this is my body which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. Father, today we receive the flesh of Jesus. He was anointed without measure. Get your get a piece of chocolate if you if you don't have bread. Get a piece of potato if you have to. And uh, we receive it. He break it and said, take it. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do remembrance of me. We receive the anointing today. The anointing. This communion is for restoration. No more wasting of anything in our lives. In the name of Jesus, you may now eat. After the same manner also, he took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as of me as you drink it in remembrance of me. Father, we receive the blood of Jesus. We receive new life. For the life of the flesh is in the blood. Pour back into us by this blood. Renew, refresh, reanoint us, restore us, restore your people. In the name of Jesus, you may now drink. Father, we thank you. We give you praise for those who are watching now and those who will watch later. Pain in the shoulder just has just been healed. Kidney problems, right side, just being healed. Thank you, Lord. Left big toe has just been healed. Thank you, Father. Ringing in the right ear has just cleared up. Thank you, Lord. Nightmares between 5 a.m. and 7 a.m. God just uprooted it. Thank you, Father. Yes, Lord. I see restoration coming, Deborah. You're welcome. I see restoration of there's a relationship, somebody God gave you to be a nourisher to you. And something went wrong. You've been grieving about that relationship. God is saying he will restore it. I see many people receiving prayer mantles, worship mantles. This morning I was praying for joy for you that many who have lost their joy will get it back. Just joy. Joy unspeakable, full of glory. Many, many people, Christian people, are no more happy. Just, just, just going through life. May you receive your joy back. May you get your excitement about God back. Say amen to that in the name of Jesus. May you get your excitement about church, about God's word back. May the Bible be exciting again. I know many were at home for over a year, but don't let, let your excitement come back. May, may you find joy again. Say amen to that. Please share one more time before we go. Now it's time to receive the offering for today. If you have received anything out of this broadcast, it's now your turn to respond according to God's word to sow. Some of you, you got your tithe, your offering, your first fruit, your seed, your love offering, whatever you have, get ready to sow. Let's pray. Father, receive the tithes and offerings of your people wherever they are. Cleanse them with the blood of Jesus. 
And Father, the next 90 days from the first of next month, let it be th three months of people giving to us materially, spiritually, financially, physically, in every area, good measure, pressed down, shaking together, and running over. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, somebody said amen. You can do Cash App for those in America, in the U.S., dollar sign, Glory Church. You can do Zelle, okay, 770-909-5000 for those in the U.S., for those outside of the U.S., we do appreciate your effort to always support us. You can use our website, Glory to Glory Church. Click on the donate button, and it works. Safe. We used it for years and years and years. Thank God for that. You can use Zip PayPal, or you can use PayPal Glory to Glory Church .org, Yes. And click on the donate button. You, okay, thank you. You sent Zell a few hours ago. God bless you for that, Miss Joy. I pray that God truly will send you and I help us to pour into us. For all those who are tithing, I pray that God will truly rebuke the devourer for your sake. You can also use glorytelevision at gmail.com, glorytelevision at gmail.com. Somebody who has had persistent headache on the right side, right here, has just been healed. You can also throw your check in the mail, post office, 4881. You can throw it in the mail through the post office, 4881 Lawrenceville Highway, Talker, Georgia. You can Google us and find the postal address, okay? Don't forget we're having uh, next week from Wednesday Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, a mighty program with Sam Oposo, and it's going to be on praise. For when the praises go up, the blessings come down. Of course, make it a day to come. Send this the flyer, send information to somebody out there. You may be far away, but you have somebody in America, or Atlanta, or Georgia. People are coming in from out of town. This is our first major program in a long time, more than a year. Pray for us, pray with us. And uh, Father, I'm asking for the best of this month. You always give the best at the last. These last few days of this month, make them the best month for us, the best of the days of this month for us. Truly cause us to walk through and enter into the gates of praise, the gates of joy, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God's people said, Amen. Text me, WhatsApp me, email me. 404-935-2878 is an entire line just for command your day. You can email me for uh, King of Israel14 at gmail.com. King of Israel 14 at gmail.com. You can take a screenshot of it. I know it's reversed, but you can flip it around. Okay. Thank you for watching on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, wherever you WhatsApp. Thank you for always being there for us. God bless you. I'll see you on Sunday, right here on Command Your Day, of course, from the sanctuary of Glory House. Okay. God bless you. Wear your mask. Put on your sanitizer, take your temperature, but go to church. This is the time to support your pastor. If the, if the laws in your country allow that for you to go to church, support your pastor. Encourage him. Show him you're still there with him. Show him, don't just stay home. Go out there. Okay, just go there. Show yourself physically. Pastor, I'm still with you. I support you. I believe in you. We have not left. Pandemic or not, we're still here. It helps pastors. It pours into them and ministers to them. Okay? Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on Sunday. Don't forget, it's not over until you win. Bye-bye.